you're reluctant to lead, you just need to trust the divine pecking order. Welcome to the Daily Devo. I am Vince Miller. This week we have been in 1 Samuel chapter 10. I've titled it The Appointed But Reluctant Leader. Today we're going to finish off by reading verses 25 through 27. It states, Then Samuel told the people the rights and the duties of the kingship, and he wrote them in a book and laid it up before the Lord. Then Samuel sent all the people away, each to his own home. Saul also went to his home in Gibeah, and with him men of valor whose hearts God had touched. But some worthless fellows said, How can this man save us? And they despised him and brought him no present, but he held his peace. You know, I believe that we sometimes are reluctant to lead for a number of reasons, but one is that we fail to trust the divine pecking order of God. In this instance, a king was selected, but we all know God was not forfeiting his role as the king. God was still the king of all things. His justice was going to reign. At no point did the people of Israel cease to be God's people. When we truly understand that God is sovereign, our reluctance should fade away. It is here that we discover that we're not the leader. God is. We are merely his servants selected for his service to a particular task, and usually a very, very, very small task in history, in his kingdom. Like Samuel or Saul, we too are selected for unique roles in God's kingdom to serve his people. This perspective is easily lost in our self-interest at times. I mean, pastors and presidents, principals, politicians, and public servants all forget this. When we do, we convince ourselves that our skills and our talents and our abilities got us to where we are. We end up rejecting God because we have consciously left God behind and now are trying to be self-reliant and our own leader. And that's why we are reluctant. So stop rejecting God. Trust his divine pecking order. Let him lead. See your role as a servant in his kingdom. And if you do, you will listen more carefully, follow more willingly, and be less irritated with his decisions. I love you guys. I pray this has blessed you. If it has, share it with someone else, and I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.